Hello everyone, there is another video for you. As you can see, the machine is quite old and uh, the keyboard is quite messy. So what are you going to do today? We're going to replace the keyboard. We got the replacement, which is that one. All right. And this one comes with the power button and everything. And also the mouse right and left click. This is a little too difficult, but it's not. It's completely super simple. Let me show you how. First, remove the battery. In my case, I don't have the battery. Okay. And after that, you're going to find out a logo like that, like keyboard sign. So if you see anything like keyboard sign, that means there is a screw and you must need to remove it. So first, you can remove only these two. One. There should be one, but there is missing. Anyway. So in my case, only one screw. That's fine. Flip it over. Open it up, take a kind of, you know, flat opening tool, and then don't try from this side, try from that side. As you can see, it's like coming out. Super simple. Yeah. And there is the connector. Make sure gently you pull this out. Okay. Ever I seen for any laptop, this is the most easiest keyboard replacement. Because it's the flex, super simple, like a kind of iPhone LCD connector, okay? Similar to that, a lot of dust and stuff like that. If you want, you can give it a clean because that is a great opportunity before you replace. You can clean the fan and just put back the new one. Okay, so that is the replacement first. Try from the front side. Connect the connector first. You can do both way, or you can try in that way. Much more easier than you can get a clear visibility. It's connected, and put this side first. As you can see, make sure the alignment is correct, and it's done. That's how simple it is. Flip it over. Put the screw because of one of the screws is missing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add another one I just wanted to see if that is correct screw it seems like somebody tried it before okay. what I'm gonna do I'm gonna find a similar screw which should be quite skinny might be that's the one Let's check it out. A little bit longer, so I need to keep in my mind. Okay, that's that'll be absolutely fine. So I'm gonna try this one in here. Good. This in here. And one of the screw, another screw missing. I'm gonna try this from my experience. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. So that's how simple it is to change a uh, keyboard for X220, X230, almost same. Still, if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.